Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Wednesday, the fifth day of April. Passover begins. First contact day today. Gold Star Spouses Day today. National Flash Drive Day National Nebraska Day, National Deep Dish Pizza Day. You a deep dish pizza fan, Heidi? I'm not. Yeah, when we get pizza, it's usually Thin not and deep crispy, dish. Usually. Although, I've been known to enjoy pizza of all kinds. <laughs> Child Help, National Day of Hope Day today, National Read a Roadmap Day. And that is a good thing to know how to do. I've seen people who have grown up oh, without yeah, roadmaps. Young and they, kids now. My favorite was there was a video of a girl literally pushing on a map because she was trying to get it to zoom in. And <laughs> she's like, why is it not zooming? And they're like, oh, no. Uh, so, yeah, it's not how it works. National Reader Roadmap Day. Uh, National Raisin and Spice Bar Day. National Caramel Day or Caramel Day. National Go for Broke Day. And National Walking Day. All of those things happening. And my guest, I'm so excited to visit with him again, Bruce Campbell. I love him. He's an actor uh, in a bunch of really fun movies. And he's got a new thing he's doing. Uh, he's going to be going on tour, like all across the country. Okay. On this uh, Bruce Campbell tour, like the Bruce a I think oh, is what they're. Bruce Arama, that's what it's called. Okay. Um, I've got a link to it, all the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Would you consider getting a tattoo of your pet, Heidi? No. Half of the people in the survey said they would, according to 2,000 dog and cat owners. 25% would consider getting a tattoo of their current pet. 25% plan already to get that tattoo. And uh, 16% already had a pet tattoo somewhere. They found 42% of pet owners own at least one item depicting an animal that resembles their pet. 44% own something with an actual picture of their pet printed on it, usually an article of clothing. 21% said that. 36% of pet owners have a dedicated social media account for their pet. 60% of pet... We are terrible pet owners. We don't have any of this. I think we're normal Heidi's holding our dog right now. So if you hear dog tags clinking, that's what that is. (laughs) 60% of pet owners say they believe their cat or dog has what it takes to be a viral sensation. Do you think our dog does, Heidi? No. Do you? I think she does. 68%... (laughs) I love you, Cassie, even if Heidi doesn't. 68% of pet parents believe that they are more obsessed with their pets than other people who are pet lovers. 55% have conversations with their pet. Heidi, <laughs> all the time. I'll say, what did you say? Oh, I was talking to Cassie. I'm like, oh, was she talking back? And 48% said they've told their pet a secret that nobody else knows. <laughs> Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know people, other people's body odor could help reduce your social anxiety? Mm. I don't think so. According to a new study, seems unappealing. uh, Researchers from Karolinska Institute in Sweden discovered that exposure to the stink of human chemochemicals Chemo signals, I guess is what it is. That's what they say. Uh, they reduce social anxiety by about 40% when accompanied by mindful therapy. Lead researcher said, <laughs> Our state of mind causes us to produce molecules or chemo signals in sweat, which communicate our emotional state and produce corresponding responses in the receivers. Mm-hmm. How did they even discover this? Like, hey, come here. I'm all sweaty. Come and smell me. How do you? How do you feel? You feel? How do you feel around me? <laughs> It just, uh, that's all. I can tell you how I usually feel around uh-huh. stinky people. It's uh, he's not saying, a calming, We don't know everything. Tranquil. But now we know this. Oh, my.
Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. Robert Downey Jr. reportedly is set to star in a remake of the uh, psychological thriller Vertigo. Oh. So Jimmy Stewart was in the original one back yeah. in the day. Uh, Jonathan Majors is facing criminal charges. The Creed Three star has been charged with assault following a harassment uh, of, and some stuff that happened in New York recently. That's so, unfortunate. Yeah. John Wick Chapter 4 is making a killing at the box office. Go. They did yeah. really, really, really well. I have not seen I'm looking forward to seeing it, actually. Yeah. So, and then, uh, what do we have here? There's one other thing. Uh, Amir Questlove Thompson, the Oscar-winning director of Summer of the Soul, I'm sorry, Summer of Soul, will direct a remake of Disney's The Aristocrats. So there you go. All kinds of stuff Why going on. Why is everything on. just being remade? Can you know, come up with new stuff? I Yeah, but here's the thing. When they do a remake... Are you getting sick of that? I'm getting sick of it. I don't know I'm getting sick of it because like some of the stuff I watch and I go, that was really neat. That was a new way to look at that. But then there's other things where I'm going, it was just not as good as the original. Yeah, so, I don't most know. of what I've seen yeah. hasn't been as good as the original. To each but. their own. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month. If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com a cat from virginia was reunited with her owner after she went missing for nine years whoa yeah yeah that that cat went for a long walk i guess so and southern mexico had six earthquakes over four magnitude in a period of one week that's kind of crazy yeah and a survey found that one in four north american women has never married Heidi's over there going, oh, I could have been one of those. (laughs) Instead, she married me. And uh, I do have a story that I'm going to share here. University of Texas researchers claim to be (laughs) closer than ever to developing a drug that can spur weight loss without the need for exercise. Mm. This sounds too good to be true. I say this as a fat man who would love to be able to just magically lose weight. I struggle so badly trying to lose weight and i really just it's can't. only because everything is so good yeah it's hard to- it would be a lot easier for me to lose weight if i could actually stick to any of the diets that i've done i can't I just i have no willpower in theory they say people could one day chow down on whatever they want without added health risk and weight gain according to this story in tests using mice the scientists discovered that the drug curbed weight gain from foods high in sugar and high in fat which are prevalent to a Western diet. So they're saying it's a miracle product, maybe, that would spur weight loss? Hmm. I don't know. You ready for something like this, Heidi? You think the world is ready for something like this? I I just still think that movement is important. Exercise is important. I saw a video. I shared this with you. There was a guy who online people were making fun of him because he said, uh, give me three minutes a day and I guarantee you'll lose weight. He was like, do a minute of this. And it was like uh, something, I don't remember what it was. Uh, sit-ups maybe a minute of this and was like squats and a minute of this it was three minutes a day and he said i have clients who have done this it takes them three minutes to do this workout and they lose weight every single time if they actually do it every day a minute a day right. for these three things and i was going oh, i could maybe do four well that's minutes. just it i, I mean when you're when you're not moving at all yeah. any additional movement is going to have yeah. an impact it on does your body. i suppose all right scoop of the day comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com InsuranceChicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to InsuranceChicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at InsuranceChicken.com. That's InsuranceChicken.com. Thank you for listening to the John Ed Heidi Show on a Wednesday. Our guest today is Bruce Campbell. He's been in a whole bunch of different movies, and he's got a fun tour he's doing. It kicks off today. It's called Bruce Orama. Tell me a little bit about the fun adventure you have going on, Bruce. Adventure, that's a good word for it. it is a, it's a fool's adventure, because uh, I'm probably going to realize it was a bad idea by the time we're done. But we're going to do 22 cities, mostly in April. We're kind of... 
east of the Rockies type deal. We'll have to do another tour next year and get the rest of the country. But we're doing a smattering of fine cities, and we're gonna. It's a two part evening. It's uh, part one is a game show, live game show, last fan standing, and it's uh, it's not your father's trivia. You know, it's horror, sci-fi, fantasy, gaming, and uh, it's it's really for the modern audience, and everybody plays. It's all going to get whittled down to one person who knows more trivia than anybody else in the building, and they're going to get some fun swag from Ash vs. Evil Dead, uh, which is premiering on the 21st. So Bruce Orama, the game show, kind of kicks things off, and then afterwards you get to watch a movie, right? Heck yeah. I'm going to come out and we'll do like an extended Q&A and have some fun and talk about the movie that they're about to see, which I never really know what it'll be in any given city. Uh, the promoter gets the ticket. So we'll show one of the golden moldies, you know, Evil Dead or Army of Darkness, stuff like that. And then I'll jump on the bus uh, with my four smelly guys and we'll, we'll get to the next city. <laughs> Head out for another edition of Bruce O'Rama. I think this sounds like a lot of fun. How long have you been working on this? Because this is quite the challenge to put together. It is. It's you know, we've toured with it a fair amount. It's the game show that never really wants to die, even when we think we're done with it. It just keeps sort of popping up. We've done it for the troops at, at military bases. Uh, probably 10 years overall, we've been fooling around with this dumb thing. And then I've done a number of touring with a movie. Like, we'll do a watch with, where it's, it's actually a live. I'll sit there on stage as the movie goes, and I'll pause it and tell a story, blah, blah, blah. And so this will be a slight variation. We're going to do a game show first part, and then I'll do an extended intro for the second part. And, uh, you know, I'll give out gas money and stuff like that. We'll have a good time. And then they watch the movie, and then away we go. Well, I think it looks like a whole lot of fun, and I'm looking at the schedule here. You are a busy man the whole month of April. You've got it's, – it's almost every day, it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of foolish on our part, but uh, we thought that was a great idea at the time. Uh, it's you know what it is. It's, it's how they used to tour, kind of in the old days. You jump on a bus and you try and hit as many cities as you could uh, to make some kind of impact. I think it made more sense when you're selling records. Like I'm not selling any records, so who knows? Uh, but it's, it's a way to see some cities in a fast period of time, and then I can suck my thumb for a month after that. Well, and then this is also a great way for people who are fans to get out and actually get a chance to see you and meet you and, and participate in Bruce O'Rama, the game yeah. show. Yeah, you get to have, fully participate. And if you're any good at trivia at all, you might very well get up on that stage. We do the first 20 questions are just for the audience. And they vote on their phone. And, you know, speed and accuracy matters. And the top four will get up there. And then we do these elimination rounds and whittle it down to one. And they're going to get some swag from Evil Dead Rise, the new movie on the 21st. It's opening. And again, the event actually kicks off tonight. The whole tour starts today, and it goes pretty much every day all the way through the end of April. And then you wrap up in Texas at the very, very end of the month. Now, are you excited to do this bruce Arama tour? Are you excited for all that traveling? I am. I'm calling it kind of like the Beach Boys tour. Because I think the Beach Boys do like 150 gigs a year still. Something insane like that. So it, it's a chance to see what it's like to tour. Because the one nice thing is when you do it that often, we can really get up to speed, I think, and get into a kind of a rhythm of doing the show. Sometimes if you don't do it that often, it's a little funkier. But I, I expect that we'll get in a pretty good fight in shape by the end of it. Well, I'm excited for you. It looks like a lot of fun. Bruce, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us about it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Again, our guest today has been Bruce Campbell, and he's been in a bunch of fun movies, and he's got a new one coming out towards the tail end of this month. Also, he's got a tour that kicks off today. All of the details and the tour schedule at bruceorama.com. Again, all the details at bruceorama.com. 
com. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? When startled, geckos make a noise that sounds like eek. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I like that. Uh, now I want to startle a gecko so badly. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In a day, your brain uses the amount of energy contained in two large bananas. Oh. So that's how much energy you need to just stay on course. Okay. I think I'm way overdoing it. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Peepable, uh, <laughs> peepable? Peepable? People are capable of making more than 1,000 uh, 1, different facial expressions. Yeah, I suppose yeah. there's an awful lot of muscles. I struggle to even say the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Contrary to popular belief, there are no wild tigers in Africa. They're only found in Asia. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fun fact for you, Heidi. I've never thought about that, I guess. I guess okay. I've never really put much of that. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The first baseball caps were made of straw. So there you go. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile Question of the Day. Yay! It's brought to you by Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. In a survey, 25% of men said they would not date someone who had one of these. What was it? A face tattoo. No, a twin. Really? Yeah, 25% of men said they would not date somebody who had a twin. Oh, that's weird. I wonder why that is. I don't know. Would you date me if I had a twin? Well, yeah. Would you leave me for my twin? No. <laughs> you probably would. But You're that's like, bizarre. Oh, that is a so bizarre much, statement. So much nicer than you. And he, <laughs> he has stayed in shape. <laughs> Thanks, fictitious twin. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got uh, Mint Mobile question of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. We hope this venture works out for them. A brand new gallery decided to dedicate their space to retail objects that bombed. So the Museum of Failure collects failed products and services from around the world, offering what they call a fascinating learning experience into failed innovations. Featured are about 160 retail items that did not work. They didn't catch on. Like the uh, Google Glasses. Remember those? I do remember those. That was supposed to be such a huge thing. The ill-fated DeLorean car. That's in there. Uh, that, by the way, became famous because of the movie Back to the Future. But before that movie, those things were bombing big time. Yeah. And now they're actually collectible and people like them. What other things come to mind when you'd expect to see at a museum of failure? New Coke. Yeah. Uh, 2003 Nokia N gauge smartphones. I don't remember what that was. Uh, Finland mobile gaming industry apparently s- kind of started because of them, though. Uh, Bic for her pens. They were released in 2011. I don't remember those at all. So they're just like other pens, but they were sparkly and bright. Okay. Anyway, this exhibit goes through May with a possible expansion, extension into June if everybody's really excited to see what failed. So all the info in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. Warning signs for dog breeds. So I don't know what this is all about. It was sent to me and it looks kind of interesting. But a veterinarian assistant shared this on TikTok. Warning signs for different dog breeds if they had a warning sign. This is what they would look like. 
Oh, uh, okay. I see. So one, it says pit bull. You wanted a big, tough dog, but they'll mostly just be itching their skin. So okay. apparently they're itchy. Bulldog, you'll be cleaning crevices for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. uh, Cavalier King Charles. Ah, oh, all we see when you walk into the clinic is a time bomb of heart failure. Ooh, that's not good. Aww. German Shepherd, invest in training or be ready to pay for sedatives for doctor visits. Uh, Australian Cattle Dog, similar to Border Collie, but with a touch of murderous intent on crack. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. And Border Collie, however much exercise you think this dog needs, multiply that by 10. Doberman can go from cinnamon roll to psychopath in an instant. Beagle, Oscar-winning drama queens with the pipes of an opera singer. <laughs> and the final one that I have listed here is Corgi, similar to the other herder dogs, but with a Napoleon complex. <laughs> yeah, wow. I bet. Yeah. I've got a link if you want to see all of this stuff in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Insurancechicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to insurancechicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Quote today is from Joan Collins, who says, Age is just a number. It's totally irrelevant. Unless, of course, you happen to be a bottle of wine. Hmm. Mm, I like that. Nice. It's quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of genesisgoldira.com. I love this story. She found an uplifting note in a book at a Goodwill. Now she's trying to find its intended recipient. So okay. take a listen to this. It happened in Gilbert, Arizona. Lady there is on a mission to find the recipient of a handwritten note that was tucked in a book. Rose Farmer said she stopped by her Goodwill to find a costume for her daughter. While she was there, she was looking at the books, which was always kind of fun. Right. right? I always look at the books. She started looking at the books, and uh, an older lady was uh, next to me. She's the one that actually picked up the book, and a note fell out. The note was written by a father to his son. It says, Believe, Trent. Believe you are loved and respected. So let's get going. The ride may be bumpy, but we will get there. When you believe in you as much as I do, you will be there, Dad. Okay. Isn't that great? That is great. It says the, the note moved Farmer to purchase the book and begin the search for Trent or for Trent's dad. She posted a picture of the book and the note on her page and then uh, on a Gilbert Facebook page, so that area, a page for that community. Sure. Hundreds of residents have liked and commented on the post. She says, I feel like maybe all of us were moved by this note. And indeed, a Trent somewhere out there, uh, hopefully we'll see this. Other comments, uh, I hope you find him. You just helped a lot of people, another person said. Isn't that cool when you think about that? Think about the number of people who read that. And hopefully they took something from it as well. I think this happened on purpose. I think it really, really did. And there's a really neat video if you want to see the video, if you want to see the note, if you happen to know a young man named Trent. I would like to be Trent's dad, knowing that Trent just donated that book. Leave <laughs> 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 a heartfelt note, which was probably not easy for him to say. Yeah, probably not. So I was in a note. I never thought of it from Heidi's glass half empty perspective, but thanks for sharing that, Heidi. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right, time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Wednesday.